All right, Coach. Um, congratulations. Thanks, we'll Ken. Go ahead and start with a uh, statement, and then we'll open up for questions. Well, I'll state the obvious. It was a great road win. Uh, great, great effort. Uh, very, very proud of our guys, especially on the defensive end. Uh, you're you're talking about a team that. Uh, um, as one loss on the season, you're talking about a team that in, in every analytical statistical category is, is in the top three. And um, we got off to a very slow start uh, offensively, but um, uh, I thought our defense was, was really set the tone early. Um, I, I'm, I, I couldn't be happier with the job Trent Frazier did uh, on Mike Smith. I thought that was a key matchup coming into the game. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, even though the two big guys both kind of fought, fought some foul problems, I thought it was uh, um, uh, a good job by Kofi uh, making things very difficult. I thought Georgie Bashanishvili was excellent, excellent, excellent on the defensive end. He made very few mistakes. Um, and then uh, the job Jacob and DeMonte did on on two guys who most everybody thinks are pros and, and Bogner and, and Livers was, was outstanding. So I thought we were disruptive. Um, I thought we played very, very hard. And then uh, on the offensive end, Curbelo uh, came into the game and, and was, was so, so great in the first half. He lived in the paint. And, uh, and then Trent, uh, you know, in the second half, we saw old Trent, uh, you know, in, the, in, the, in that second half. So uh, all in all, very pleased. And, um, you know, it's, it's uh, the game that, uh, um, you know, I, I'm really proud of our grit, our toughness. I thought our toughness was 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 tremendous, and uh, uh, you know, I, I'm 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 really pleased with the with the grit our guys showed. Okay, we'll start with uh, Robert, uh, then Derek Piper, and then Scott Ritchie. Go ahead, Robert. Coach, I've asked you a lot of context questions this year. You know, put this in context. Obvious question with this one is this, you know, is this the biggest victory of your career? Have you ever been a part of, of something like this? Well, I'm not, a, I'm not going to put a regular season game in that context. I, you know, it was, it was a conference game. It was, it, it was a great game. I, I, I'm not trying to downplay it. I, I'm excited. You know, when Derek tells me it's the first time that, you know, in program history that, um, you know, Illinois has beaten a, a top two team on the road. Yeah, it's big. It's big, you know. I'm, and then I don't want to downplay that in any stretch. But uh, you know, I don't. I, you know, I don't think of the, those things like that right now. It's, it's. You don't get very long to enjoy it. We got Ohio State who beat us the first time coming up, and you know, dug on it. We played great. I enjoyed it. They gave me a great bath in the in the in the locker room, and um, uh, yeah, I'm 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 really pleased. There's a part of me that's extremely pleased with with, with, with the way we played because because of the toughness we showed. And tell me about Trent. You know, he was he was here throughout this entire build with you. For for him to have some moments like this in the second half, what's that like for you as a head coach? Such a good player, um, you know, and and he does it at both ends. And and you know, and today in shoot around, um, you know, and we go and shoot around. I mean, we go an hour and we go an hour, and and I mean, we were taped, and I mean, it's full on contact, and we go. And I took him out just so I knew I because I was going to need him tonight, and he's mad at me. And, and we were working on guarding them. And, and, you know, that speaks volumes to Trent. And, uh, you know, when Trent gets going, um, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a pretty lethal backcourt. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy for him because he's, uh, he's the ultimate team guy. He's the ultimate Illini. And, um, you know, we saw that tonight with his grit and toughness. Thanks. Hey, Derek Piper, then Scott Ritchie. Go ahead, Derek. The coach, Trent spoke about wanting to make a statement in this game. What do you think that that statement said? And did you notice that from your team? It's just kind of their approach and their their energy. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's a it's a it's a team that's ahead of us. You know, they're they're the, you know, in all likelihood, you know, and I, I don't know what they've got left, even though with their schedule. But you know, they they got one loss. They're number two in the country. Uh, they're in their building, and what greater opportunity to make a statement? Uh, about who we are and, uh, you know, and where this team's matured to and, and how they've grown. Um, and, you know, Doug on it, he's a senior, man. That's a, he's got, he's got a lot of charisma, a lot of character and, uh, uh, you know, and a lot of leadership and he, he led him tonight. Have you seen your team and your time here play that hard for the 40 minutes? It's up there. It's up there. You know, I, I mean, it, it's, 
the execution is what was is is what's really pleasing to play that hard. You know, we made we made a mistake late. You know, and and going under a ball screen and gave up gave up a three. Uh, but the execution to go with that effort, probably that's as good. That's as high as as, as we've been. Thanks. Hey, Scott Ritchie, and then Gabby, and then Brett Barons. Go ahead, Scott. Yeah, Brad, you mentioned this past Saturday that other than the last two minutes, the Wisconsin game was maybe as good as you've seen this team defensively now tonight. Is, is there something extra that they've maybe hit these last couple of games to, to be at that level? Well, and, you know, and I don't know what that is, I, you know, because we haven't really practiced. Um, you know, it's attention to detail. There's been a ton of film work. Maybe that's the key. Um, but I, I think our, 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 uh, our success as we move forward is going to be based on what we do on this end. And we have to we have to be that, and uh, uh, you know we're not going to get uh, uh, make ten threes every single night and go ten for fourteen and have a beautiful night where we shoot sixty percent. It's going to be our grit, our toughness, our nastiness, and um, you know this team's bringing that right now. And I saw photos and video of Iowa going through shoot around. What was sort of the process of figuring out if he could go tonight? No, he was, I mean, he, he, he's, in, he's in our protocol. Uh, you know, there's various, I don't know, there's about 10 steps to that thing that I don't even know. Um, I don't, I don't do anything with that except uh, what the, what the doctors, and the trainers tell me. And, and uh, you know, today was the first day that he's actually done anything that is remotely close to, to playing in a basketball game. And that was just a brief period of time. So we'll continue to monitor that process and, and see where it leads us and everything's symptom based. And uh, we finally got a lot of the swelling out of his face. And, and so, um, you know, we'll, we'll see where it goes uh, as we move forward. Just to clarify protocol as in concussion protocol. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Gabby followed by Brett Barons. Dad, it seems like the energy on the bench with the guys and the coaches was just a little different tonight. Um, what do you think was attributed to that, and how did that affect your team's play? Well, I'm going to give it all to 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 our our manager Bobby. Uh, we call him the Juice for a reason, and uh, you know Bobby Bobby's a uh, just out of concussion protocol, and he's our energy. He's our juice uh, on the bench, and and. Uh, uh, no, I, and that's a big part of it, to be honest. Bobby does a great job, but um, uh, he, he got knocked knocked out in practice in a drill, so uh, he was concussed and didn't make the Michigan State trip with us. But uh, I mean, our guys, our guys knew it was a game, knew it was a big game, and and uh, uh, that's when everybody stars in their role when the, when they do things like they did tonight. And then it seems like Corbello had no hesitation um, just from the beginning tonight. What can you say about? just his growth as a player over these last, honestly, like few games without Io there. One thing you never have to worry about with Andre Cabello is, is there's going to be something happen and, and he's always ready. He's got so much FIBA experience. He's got a, uh, he's played against older guys. He plays with zero fear and, uh, and so much confidence. And uh, he is uh, charismatic beyond, you know, he's got so much charisma. Um, but yeah, he was ready and, and, uh, you know, he's in, he was in go mode and, uh, he went, he was good. Okay. Brett Barron's and then Gavin Good. Go ahead, Brett. Brett, how do you describe how much confidence your team has right now? I think it's, I think it's high. I think we've earned that right to have some confidence. I think anytime that you, um, you play as hard as we play, I think in, in practice as hard as we practice that, that just naturally comes with it is is confidence and 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 a comfort and uh uh, you know i see that growing every day and and uh you know i we we practice hard and 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 part of the reason we do that is is so that we get in a game um we know how hard we have to play and we can gain that confidence that's how you build it and uh, um you know is it pretty every night no but but uh, that doesn't mean we're not confident and i i think this team is has got great confidence you said you've talked with your team about playing for a one seed. How much do you feel like a, this win tonight propels you to be a one seed in the NCAA tournament? Well, Brad, I, I mean, I, and I, I'm, and I'm pretty illiterate when it comes to what's going on in the world of college basketball. I look at our stuff and our league, and uh, but I, I would be challenged to find a, a, a better a better win 
in college basketball this year, better road win anyway. Um, I mean, in all the analytics, they're up there. So, you know, I think it's got to make a, a, a pretty solid statement. I mean, a lot of people have us somewhere in that one or two line anyway. You know, beating a team that's um, two in the country and, and up there in almost every analytic has is, is, is got to be a pretty strong statement. And, and then to do that without, you know, college basketball's best player, um, you know, pretty, pretty big statement. Okay, Gavin, good. You're up. And then we have a couple of Michigan. Go ahead, uh, Gavin. Brad, Kofi and, and Dickinson were really going at it early. It seemed like Kofi gave him a lot of defensive problems. Um, how would you just evaluate the performance, how he got him in foul trouble and all that? I'm, both those guys are great players. They're not good players. They're great players. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's very seldom that you uh, – uh, Kofi runs into somebody with his size and length at seven one. And it's very seldom that, uh, that, that he runs, that, that, that Hunter runs into a guy that's 300 pounds. And, and uh, you know, it was about making it hard for each other. They're both terrific. They're both competitive. And um, I, I loved it, man. I, to me, that's, that's the, that, that, was, that was beautiful basketball. You guys almost were doubling up Michigan on the boards at one point, out-rebounded them by 16, I think. Um, what does that say about this team? Well, we knew that was going to be a big part of the game, and they're one of the best rebounding teams in our league. Um, and, and we felt like that, uh, you know, that was a battle that we felt like we had to win to win the game. And, and so we spent a great deal of time talking about it. And, uh, uh, you know, again, I thought Jacob and DeMonte from the wing spots were fabulous. And, and then, you know, Curbelo comes in and sneaks in and gets six or seven. And, um, you know, we, we knew we were going to have to have our guards uh, help Kofi rebound. Okay, we'll go uh... – Brendan and then uh, Theo, and then we'll go to Doug Bouchon. Go ahead, Brendan. Hey, Brad. Obviously, with you know the Big Ten standings kind of being wonky, uh, I, I wonder just what you're, you know, still using motivation of, you know, this, this represents you know beating the team that is first in the league and things like that. Even though it might not shape out, you know, evenly in terms of how the standings normally would. Well, I, I mean, we try to find motivation for every game, and 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 and. Whether it's um, um, you know a little whatever it could be whatever and and I you know I think that uh, you know this team is knows that that Michigan's a you know I, I think they're obviously one of the best teams in the country that's not even close and Juwan has done an unbelievable job of 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 coaching them and and you know but and that's, there's a motivation when you play a team that's that that's ahead of you and um, so. Um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of our guys, and, and tonight happened to be our night, and, and uh, uh, you know, Juwan will have those guys bounce back and, and, and be fighting. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Theo, and then Doug Bouchon. Go ahead, Theo. Yeah, Brad, you mentioned this a little bit in your opening statement, but uh, Franz Wagner tonight scored two points. That's his career low at Michigan. How did eliminating his impact on the offensive end change the game? Especially a guy that's been, I think, in his last five games, he's right about 18 per game, um, or, or real close to that. Uh, you know, we we emphasize that we didn't want to give him anything, um, you know, anything easy. Uh, he, he's a terrific player. He's a terrific talent. He's he gets downhill as well as anybody I've seen in the country at his size, and and we just tried to stay in front of him. We tried to make him, you know, make him score through us. Um, you know, not give him uh, opportunities right at the front of the rim because of his length and his athleticism. And, and I thought DeMonte Williams and Jacob Grandison uh, did a good job of fighting that tonight. Okay, Doug Bouchon and then Jeremy Warner. Go ahead, Doug. Hi, Coach. Um, I, I know there's been some games this year where you thought the other team was more physical and, and uh, more of the aggressor, obviously not the case today. Uh, can you just talk to uh, what games like the um, Missouri game and the Michigan State game – what role they kind of played in, in getting you to the point that you're at now and, and playing with a little more toughness? Well, I, I think one of the things we did a good job of tonight was protecting the front of the rim. And we call them Mozgovs, where you just jump up and you put both hands up and, and try not to foul. And it's not necessarily blocking a shot, but it's a, it's, it's a wall. Um, and, and I thought we did a good job of that. That was one of the things, Doug, early in the year we didn't do a very good job of. Uh, obviously, you play the Missouris on the road. You play Baylor. You play... Uh, those teams, they all help prepare you, um, you know, for, for these moments and for postseason. That's why we play a, a, a very tough schedule. 
Um, you know, so our guys don't fear that. Uh, but, but again, I thought it was, um, I thought it was a collective effort to be physical, um, to be, to be aggressive and, and to challenge things at the rim. And I thought we did a nice job of that. Tonight. Is there a silver lining a little bit to, um, um, Iowa being out for a couple games, um, in the fact that it's a motivational factor, plus you get some other guys a chance to play more and develop a little bit more. I don't know if there's a silver lining in losing the best player in college basketball. Uh, you know, I think the one thing that's that, that's that's done is changed some roles. Guys got a lot of minutes. Guys got put in some different in some different spots. Um, you know, and 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 again, you know, now it's just sliding Nio back in, and and you know, we don't have to change a lot of roles. We know we can be we can be good. I gained some confidence in some in some guys in some different areas. Uh, so yeah, there's you know if there's a if there's a positive. Uh, we showed that we've got guys that are really good players and that are willing to compete and, and, and step up. Thank you. Okay, we'll go uh, Jeremy and then Matt and then Joey. Go ahead, Jeremy. Hey, Brett, I hate to ask another defensive question, but it just seems like this was one of the best performances you guys have had. Like, wh what have you seen click in the last 11 games or what was, you know, so dialed in today with, with whether it was Chin's game plan or, or how the guys were implementing it? Well, I, I think one of the things we've been trying to do is, you know, improve our number. We started the year so bad in terms of our DER, DER uh, defensive efficiency rating. And, and um, you know, from day one, we've said you've got to be a top 15 team to be a have a chance to be a Final Four team. And we've been pushing those numbers up and up and up. And we did a great job at Wisconsin for the last two minutes. Um and, and I do think it tonight was uh, was very solid, very sound. Uh, Jen did a great job. And, oh, uh, on the defensive side, Jen did an unbelievable job on the offensive side, um, you know, put helping put game plans together that that, that allowed us to be successful. And um, but, but we're growing in that area, and, and we're becoming more physical, which we were not early. And, uh, you know, tonight when we get 50-50 balls and – and take charges and dive on the floor. Those are all things that uh, help drive those numbers as well. Thanks, Brad. Okay, uh, Matt Stevens and then uh, Joey Wagner. Sorry, Brad, I got to ask another defensive question. I mean, seven three-point attempts from them tonight. I I've looked and I can't find anything that low before. What was the key to being able to run them off the three-point line like you did? Because seven, seven is just an extraordinary low number for them. Well, we, I mean, it became a two-on-two -two game. You know, it became a game of, of, of middle ball screens. And, um, you know, we, we wanted to try to uh, uh, negate that. Uh, what big, big part of that, Matt, was keeping them out of transition. I was concerned early because we got sloppy with some turnovers. Um, and that's how they hit two threes, you know, in back-to-back -back possessions. And, um, you know, that was a big part of it. But, again, it's, it's uh, uh, you know, we were – the way we guard ball screens, we give up a lot of twos so we, and, and try to take away threes. And tonight we did a good, nice job of that. Brad. Hey, yeah, Joey Wagner would be the last one. Brad, I guess we'll continue the run on defensive questions here. Two years ago when you made this move to kind of revamp your defense, you, you talked about doing it for games like this. This kind of performance against a team with those kind of metrics offensively, could you imagine something like this? Is this what the goal was? Uh, what was it like back then and looking to now? Well, the goal is to do more than beat Michigan. I mean, the goal is to, to win a national championship. I mean, it was um, it, it, it was executed well tonight, and, and it's been getting better. <clears throat> and it, it becomes about not committing mistakes, not making errors, and then you put that with maximum effort. Um, and, and there's a physicality to it that I love tonight and, and a toughness. And, and man, when we're, when we're tough and gritty and flying around, yes, we are a very good defensive team. And that's how I had it pictured. And, and, and that's what we've got to bring every single night is that, that toughness and that grit. What was the key in unlocking that tonight and really for the last couple of games here? Well, you know, I think it's comfort. I think it's growth. I think it's, uh, you know, Trent's. Trent, everything starts with Trent. Trent's absolutely a monster on the ball. I keep saying it. He's the best defensive player in the country. Uh, but he doesn't get enough steals or block enough shots, so people don't want to give him that. Uh, but, man, I mean, he made touches hard. He disrupts. And, um, you know, it starts with him. And then, uh, you know, now you start looking at Jacob Grandison and DeMonte Williams and, and those effort plays. And, and we all know Kofi's a problem at the rim. And, uh 
So now it's a continued growth and Adam's been, uh, his growth from, from the, and I go back to the Baylor, his growth from the Baylor game to now is light years. So uh, everybody's getting more comfortable and confident and, 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 uh, and we're getting tougher. Thanks, Brad. All right. Well, coach, have a safe trip home and uh, we'll see you in Champaign. For Thank those you. Traveling, safe travels, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight.